wanted to post another story video for you guys today. Um, and I will have a, an art project related to this book on my Facebook group. It's Mrs. Robin's Preschool page. Um, feel free to come join us there and there's lots of art activities and I'll be posting more soon. Um, Dari has decided that we are going to get you guys things to you on Wednesday at 11 a.m. Pull into the overhang behind the church, um, out of the weather, and we will put your items in the trunk. All right, hope to see you all then. The book I'm going to do today is The Very Hungry Caterpillar. This is one of my favorite books, um, and in fact, I have it signed by the author, Eric Carl. This is The Very Hungry Caterpillar. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop! Out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple but he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries, but he was still hungry. On Friday, he ate through five oranges, but he was still hungry. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. That night, he had a stomach ache. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf, and after that, he felt much better. Now, he wasn't hungry anymore and he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat caterpillar. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon, pushed his way out, and he was a beautiful butterfly. The end. I hope you all enjoyed the story, and I hope you all had a happy and safe Easter. I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.